Hey, how's it going? Going great. What do we have here? I brought you in my samurai sword today. OK. Did you get this off a of samurai? Not off a of samurai. It's been in my office for about 10 years, and I haven't pulled it out too much. Why would you pull it out? I mean, home defense? <laughs> I'm looking to sell my really cool samurai sword today. So I don't know a whole lot about the sword. There's a lot of mystery to it. I got the sword as a gift from a client about 10 years ago. The sword has about a three foot long, really sharp blade. It's got a really cool handle. I'm hoping to get $7,000 for my sword today. Yeah, I mean, I've had tons of samurai swords uh, in the shop over the years, and um, they've always sort of fascinated me. Just every part of the world, I mean, constantly their swords are changing. But the Japanese came up with this design and stuck with it for like a 1,000 years. They had a process for making the edge really sharp and with really, really strong steel. Right behind the edge, it was softer steel. So when you hit something, it would keep an edge, but it wouldn't chip and break. You just go on and on and on about how cool samurai swords are. Now, this one, um, all right, uh, kind of odd. I mean, the blade looks really old. The scabbard right here looks brand new. And the handle looks not as old as this. So um, I just don't know enough about it. I mean, this is literally a science in itself. Um, so how much are you looking good for it? 7,000. OK. That It could be worth that, or it could be worth more, or it could be worth less. But I do have um, a guy who will know. So do you mind waiting? Not at all. All right, I will be right back. I welcome an expert to come and look at it because I'm really interested in finding out more information about the sword. Well, I have another one for you. And what do you think it is? The sword. OK. <laughs> We're getting better <laughs> after all these years. This looks brand new. Yeah. And the handle looks 20th century, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I would say so. Um, the blade itself, though, I have no clue. So I called you. All we can do is take a look and take it from there, right? Be interesting to see what's on the tang, you know? Do you mind if he takes it apart? Not at all. Have a look-see. It does have a signature, Kaneyasu, a smith from the 1600s. Is he a big deal? Uh, he's a good, you know, moderate smith. He was well-liked. So what you have here is an original sword from the 1600s, original tang, good signature, that is well worth $10,000. But unfortunately, it has fire damage. One of the biggest problems with iron or steel weapons was fire. You can see on the tang, it has fire scale, which means the tang was exposed to high heat. So that's why it lost its hardness. So it got really hot, and it just doesn't have the properties it used to have. No. Most likely, it was used in a battle. Guy gets killed, and somehow either the house or the castle caught on fire, and the sword fell on the ground and burned. OK, and that would make perfect sense why we have all this new stuff, because the original stuff burned to the ground. Yes. Unfortunately, this sword is just a shadow of itself now. So what's it worth? In its current condition, it's only good as a tool, a practice sword, since it's no longer collectible, which would mean its value is $500. Disappointing. Thanks for coming in, man. OK, I'll see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So it's not a $7,000 sword. It's not a $700 sword. It's a $500 sword. Tell you the truth, I don't want it. Really? If I sell this to somebody, I have to explain that it's badly damaged, which then makes it a nightmare to sell, and it's just, it's not worth my time. You have a really cool sword from the 1600s. You can put on the mantelpiece, say it was probably in a battle. I mean, it makes a great story, but it's just not for me. Well, thank you for bringing someone to look at it, and I'll just take my sword and tell those stories. OK. Thank you. I didn't make a sale. However, I'm really glad the expert came in today. He sliced through all the mystery, and uh, now I have some information about my sword.